first of all, you can't see your back. So when you're training it, it really is mind-muscle connection. You need to fill every single rep. For me, what makes a good back is obviously width, thickness, and being able to see every single definition. That makes a great back. So it is hard, but it's fun at the same time, training back. So today guys, the workout is all about hitting the back at different angles. So from going high, mid, low, and also grip, overhand, underhand. You just want to make sure you're hitting every single part of the back muscle. It's all about feeling every contraction, feeling the muscle every single rep. First exercise was the ring pull up. I always warm up for like for 10 minutes. I warm up my shoulders, my lats, I even foam around with my lats as well, just to activate them. Do a few reps to warm up and then just go straight into the pull ups. It's harder because you have to have coordination when you're doing the ring pull ups. With the bar, the bar is in one position, it's locked in one position, or you're going, you're going up and down, but with the rings, you can go back and forth, so you need to stabilize yourself and pull yourself up. So it's a great workout for your lats. It's a lot harder, which is great. It's more natural movement. So if you haven't, try it, it's awesome. Okay now, so we're gonna go on to the lap pull down machine. I'm gonna show you guys what I do slightly differently on the machine. The next exercise was the high row. So leaning in. Put my feet on the bench. Lean forward and row back. Just to allow me to stabilize myself so I can add more weight so when I'm pulling the weight forward. My advice is to always make sure you're keeping that intensity and tension on that muscle throughout the movement from when you contract and when you extend. Always making sure that you're feeling the muscle every single time. You're feeling the contraction and even work, focusing on the eccentric phase of the workout because that is where you grow more than the contraction phase of the workout. And then superset with a lean back, elbows up into, again, another row. It's almost rear delts and the upper lats as well. So next, we are doing underhand pull downs. Now I used to do it overhand, but uh, I just find that I, I find I can squeeze the lats a lot better when I do uh, underhand pull downs. I have my grip slightly wider rather than narrow so that it's more again on the lats and it take, my biceps aren't doing too much work. The over and under works exactly the same but I feel that you can squeeze the lats which is the, main, the point. Your forearms don't fatigue as much as when you do over. So when you do an over pull down, I find that my forearms fatigue more when I do an under. I mean, yes, my bicep is doing some work, but like the way I do it, my lats actually do a lot more work because I can fully pull it down and squeeze as hard as I can. Okay, now we are doing some single arm dumbbell rows. With Dumbbell rows, again, 
I always try and do the forehand grip, the dumbbells, and I come out slightly because I find that I can feel it a little bit more. I find that my biceps do too much work when the grip is slightly nearer, but when it's away, I can use my lats to actually pull the dumbbell back up. But this is why I do rows with my elbows slightly out. Next one we did was the cables, single arm cable pulls. Yes, a lot of people will do the pulls towards them facing the cable, but I find again that fully extending my arm and turning to the side, I can really feel the stretch and the squeeze every single rep. It's quite an unusual movement and it takes a bit of time to get used to doing. I start light and build the weights up. You don't have to go heavy on, on that movement either. If you notice in the video, I put my hand on here. It looks weird, but I'm actually feeling my lats. So I'm trying to feel that squeeze. So I'm trying to actually use my lats to push my hands away by squeezing it. Touch it, you know, touch it, feel it, see, find out if you're actually working that muscle. So that was a high cable row, and next we're gonna go down and do some low rows as well. I always like to put my knees, one knee on the floor, just for stability, and lean forward slightly. Again, you want that stretch, you want to fully extend and really pull in and squeeze. So you're not just going from A to B. The whole point is you fully extend and you pull with your lats. Try and squeeze your lats before you pull the weight. And that would really work your lats. And just pull it and squeeze and keep squeezing your lats even when you're fully relaxing. Keep squeezing. Focus on your lats, not on the weight you're pulling. You're focusing on the muscle, you're focusing on working that muscle, not just you know, going from A to B. I love training back, because there's so many ways. This, I would say, is part A of training back. Like I have other types of methods I do when I train back, because I train back twice a week, again, because I love training back. My aim is to always come out feeling awesome. Okay, guys.